Hi guys, so this is my look um, for today. It's inspired by the latest Hunger Games trailer where her dress is all white and sparkly and beautiful and then she kind of like burns up and turns into uh, the Mockingjay kind of black dress thingy with the wings and everything. So um, that part of the uh, trailer really excited me because I love it. And yeah, so I decided to make a wearable, quote unquote, I mean, it's wearable for me, a wearable look based on that. I wanted to do like an alt out mask type of thing. Maybe I will, but not right now because um, I'm actually late for work. Apparently I missed my call time or my show up time or whatever. Anyways. Um, for the lips, nude, I'll probably just put a lip gloss on this and just run out the door, literally. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you guys want to see how this look is created, just keep watching and I will show you how. So to achieve this look, I've primed my eyelid with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I've used my NYX Jumbo Pencil Milk in the inner part of my eye and most of my eyelid. And now I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean in the outer corner and just blending it out. I'm also going to apply a little bit of Black Bean on the lower lash line as well. Using Sugar Pills Taco and an eyeshadow brush, I'm going to apply the white eyeshadow over the white base that I applied on my eyelid. And I'm going to apply a little bit on the inner third of my lower lash line as well in that inner corner area to brighten up the look and just blend it out a bit. So now I'm going to be taking a matte black and this is from my Coastal Sun Smoky um, Eye Palette. With a pencil brush, I'm just going to pack in the color over the black base I put on my eye a little bit earlier and just create the shape you want for the overall look. Don't worry about blending, we'll get to that a little bit later. So just pack in the color and worry about the shape. Once you're done with the um, upper eyelid, go ahead and put some black on the lower lash line as well. So using the same eyeshadow brush that I used to apply taco, I'm just going to blur the line between the white and black. Just light, small strokes to just blend everything out. So to create the fiery gradient, I'm going to be using Flame Point and Love Plus from Sugar Pill. And I'm just going to add that into the blurred middle section that I went ahead and created. Now I'm going to do this a bit, not mess, messy, but it doesn't have to be perfect because I want it to have like a fiery gradient. So it's not going to be just one line. It's going to be pretty much everywhere. So this is what you should end up with. It kind of looks a bit crazy right now, but once you get the glitter added, it'll be a lot better. So I'm going to take Eye Candy's Confetti Glitter with their um, glitter glue type liquid. And I'm going to apply that to the fiery parts, and I'm going to apply that to the black parts. But I'm really going to concentrate it in the inner corner to represent her white, shiny, amazing dress that she wore um, before she turned into the Mockingjay. So just add that glitter into the inner corner and kind of just feather it into the flame quote unquote part of the eyeshadow look. So to cut out some of the glitter in the outer corner, I'm just applying a little bit more eyeshadow over that glitter so it's not so shiny. Then I'm going to tie light and waterline and then I'm going to start on my highlight after I get the call from work that I was late. As you can see me answering my phone and then freaking out and now everything's going to be rushed kind of but not really. Hello? So after that unexpected break, I am now doing my highlight with that color I showed you previously. It's like a beigey color um, with some glitter flecks in it, not too much, not very noticeable, but it's still pretty. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner. I'm going to be using a gel eyeliner in small strokes because then I don't want to move any of the glitter that I have on there, and I don't want it to look like grainy. I hate when eyeliner looks kind of grainy, and I don't have a liquid, so I'm just going to do the best I can with a gel. And then I'm going to apply mascara. You can do false lashes if you like, if you have time. Hopefully you do and you're not rushing this look like I am at this point. But um, false lashes I think would make it look a lot more better. But yeah, if not, just apply some mascara and you'll be good. Then on to the brows. I've already done my face. Um, you just haven't seen it on camera. And I did do a strong contour that you can't tell because of the bad lighting and I apologize. But I wanted to keep the look strong so my contour is strong you just can't see it, which sucks. So... Once I'm done with all of that, ta-da, here is the finished look. And I'm just showing you some close-ups and my eyeballs and all of that jazz.
So this is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed watching my tutorial um, for the uh, Hunger Games like dress burn bird thing that went on in the trailer, which I love. Okay, I already said that before, but I'm saying it again. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm rushing because I'm late for a very important date, <laughs> like what I did there. Uh, yeah, pictures are going to be now.